Got the, got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to y'all with another Jerly She haul. I'm not gonna lie, y'all been filling my hauls and my summer little baddie looks I've been giving y'all, but it's time for my favorite season. Full season, kind of spring, kind of, but full season is my season. I love the Uggs, I love the juicy sweatsuits, I love my coats, I love all full looks, all cute shit like that. So, I did partner up with Jerly She and I picked out a few items that I thought would just look so good, super trendy. A few was kind of calm, a little laid back. Some was like, oh, yes, girl, they're going to give. Like, y'all going to love this. So, <sighs> let me get into it. I did take a peek at some of the items. So, I kind of already saw what some of them is given. Of course, y'all going to always give my honest opinion. So, we really going to see what's given, what's not given, what's worth it, what's not worth it. Overall, we're just going to see what these looks are given. And we're gonna take it from there. So let's start with the first item. All right, y'all. So this is the first outfit. We got this two piece. I know I love me some two pieces and I love me some lounge sets. So I decided to get this baby blue lounge set. This is too cute. All right, so quality. Definitely exactly how it looks. It doesn't feel super cheap or anything like that. It feels like exactly how it looks. Like not too thick, but not too thin. The shirt, I love how the shirt fits because it has some type of like hold to it like i don't feel like if i wore this without a bra that my boobs would just completely drop like i feel like i'll be able to rock out and i'm not going to lie yeah i know i'm a little you know so it's holding exactly how it's supposed to so i love that as far as the pants the crotch not low one thing i always pay attention to when i buy outfits like this or get outfits like this if the crotch is too low that automatically gives me cheap cheap and ugly especially by the ankles as well it don't give me like super just cheaply manufactured so i definitely love that the fit is pretty good i got a size small and it fits me very very well and then you could also tuck it in if you wanted to i'm probably not going to fully tuck it in but you have the option for the girls who like to tuck their shirts in with these type of outfits and then just boom mark out like that and it'll look real cute but this is what y'all thinking about this i like the material like the cut on the sleeves and everything like i like this i should have got this in black too but I got something else in black, so maybe it's just like, mm, not not too much black. I mean, you could never have too much black, but I'm trying to change my ways. I'm trying to uplift the spirit, you know? Could give kind of funerals sometimes. But this is what she gives, and I think this is so cute. I just could walk around with this, maybe go get my nails done or something. Like, cute. And the color complements my skin tone as well, so I'm really feeling it. All right, y'all, so next we have these pants, and... I'm not gonna lie, these pants, I wish they was way thicker, but the way I put them on, I dressed them up with this little cute little crop tank top kind of vibe, whatever. But the pants are cute though. They got the, all these little designs on it. It feels like something definitely to lounge around in the house. I wouldn't necessarily wear it in the winter time, but it's something you could like quick on, throw on, you might could accessorize it, whatever. It's definitely a, a statement piece for sure. It has all this graffiti on the back. Please don't look at the back of my shirt, y'all. I didn't like get that together. But it has all this like graffiti on it with all this pink designs and all this extra stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of makes me feel like a Barbie doll. So that's how I got it. I'm like, oh, this is cute. Like it's giving a nice little, 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 little bit of this, little bit of that. Like it's cute. This, I would say though, is not tall girl friendly as far as going to the ankle. So as you can see, this is literally how far down it goes on my ankles. So that's why I brushed it up kind of like this and wore it like this type of situation. And yeah, it does what it's supposed to do. It's cute for the statement piece, but as far as wearing it like real sweatpants, like that type of vibe, like outside of this cold, I wouldn't do that. I don't think it's thick enough for that at all. But if you want to just put something on just to do a little quick something, a little errand, anything of that, you'll be perfectly fine. But this is what she gives me, and it's cute. I hope I don't say cute a lot in this video, because I did pick a lot of cute pieces, but I guess I'm gonna try to tone it up a little bit, because these are the calm pieces. I didn't get to the heat yet. This is, these are, this is calm first, so we're gonna start off with these, and then we're gonna progress, all right? Y'all, this outfit, all right, so let me start off by saying, this outfit, I have this in 
the long sleeve version. But the long sleeve version don't fit like this. I will wear this top with something regular. The bottom, I don't know, but I will find some way to wear this set. First of all, look at how tight, look at how snug, look at how it shapes the body. Like, look how it does the body, y'all. This fits so good. I didn't expect me to like this so much, but the waist is wasting. You see how it's sinking in my waist? Yes, I do have some hips. I got a little bit, a little bit, but you see how it's doing my shape. It's fitting very, oh my God, this is so flattering. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was looking at the like, oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> Hold on, now I gotta wear this somewhere before it get cold. All right, so another thing, how I would pair this. I feel like I will wear this with some, you can wear some pointy heels. I think that would be really cute. Pointy heels, a nice bag. Um, you can wear some toe out or whatever y'all call it. Open toe, sandals, heels, whatever. You could do that. I also pictured these with some Rick Owens, the sneakers, because my friend has some Rick Owens that he always looks like some Rick Owens. So I'm like, oh, this will look nice with some Ricks. Like this will go really, really, really nice. So. This is what it looks like up close. It's given exactly what it looks like it's given. The material isn't super cheap. Once again, very flattering. Let's do the middle of the center check. It's not hanging low or anything like that. Great sign, always. The waist is snatching exactly how it's supposed to. If you don't know, sometimes when they make pieces like this, honestly, the waist just don't be snatching. Like, it just don't suck you in and give you a, at least an illusion of a shape. Nothing. Sometimes it's a little bit too light on the waist. So, I like how this is just really sinking in my waist and it's enhancing my figure. Like, it's doing what's supposed to be done. It's doing what's needed. Yeah. This is the back. I have to, um, cut the tag. It's like a tag right here. I don't like that. But, yes, girl. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I love what outfits fit me good because I'm already small. So it's like things already hit and miss with me. And some girls may think, oh, you're not an extra small. Oh, you're not a small. Oh, do, 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 do. Little do y'all know, I'm very tiny. I'm only 5'3. I'm like 136. Like, I'm small, okay? So when things fit me right, when things fit me right, they fit me right. <laughs> they look really good. So let me stand on this hip for the rest of the video. So yeah, like. Anyways, y'all, so yeah, this is what it gives. Once again, the shirt is really, it fits really good as far as like a bodysuit because it's not also, let me mention, the other set I have like this is the shirt is not a bodysuit. It's just a top. So you could wear it on the outside or you could wear it on the inside. This specifically is snaps in the middle. So I think that also helps with keeping everything, giving it a nice clean and sleek look. Like it definitely adds and complements the fit as a whole. Like I really like this. I'm feeling this, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling her. I'm feeling hot. Huh? All right, y'all. So next, I have this bomber jacket, and this is a very light, very light thin jacket. So don't think you're about to go outside in the winter wearing one of these jackets. No, it don't give all that. But it is very cute, and it is very colorful. It has a whole lot of different designs going on, so it's real easy to match with. The only thing that um, I did have a problem was the sleeves were kind of sticking together, and it did kind of like tear in certain places. So you have to be very, very, very careful. Um, however, this is what she gives. I think it kind of comes off on camera how, exactly how it looks in person from what I'm looking at right now. But she's cute. I would just throw her on when it's like 60 something degrees. Like low 60s. Throw in a nice cute jacket with some nice sneakers. That's how I paired it with this outfit, which I'm going to do the other jacket with this outfit as well. Yeah. And... Yeah, it's very, very cute. I'm not gonna lie. If it comes to like an outfit like this, I would probably more so want to do a cropped varsity jacket. I think that would look way better, but that's just with this outfit specifically. I just like, look, it's black. Let me put this on with the black. Let me get these out the way so I can show y'all real quick. But, oh, and these are also look really good with dunks. Dunks look really good with varsity jackets. So keep that in mind with all the girls who like their varsity jackets and all the girls who like dunks. Those always pair together. So get y'all some nice little sneakers, some running sneakers. Get y'all a nice varsity jacket. I'm not going to lie, I got a few varsity jackets and I cannot wait to wear my varsity jackets this fall. So this is what this gives. It has this nice little wording on the side. I'm not going to lie. The writing on the side isn't Chinese, so I do not know what it says. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But this is how the back looks. Very plain, two-tone. Then you got the design on this side. And then you just have this in the front. So pretty straightforward. 
but this is what she so this is kind of the same concept as the last jacket look how much better this outfit looks with a crop jacket like it definitely brings it out this is another jacket that I would not wear to necessarily keep me warm in the winter but something I would definitely throw on when it's getting a little bit chilly outside just complement your outfit a little bit and I also don't have a red and black or red white and black varsity jacket so I definitely think I'm gonna batch this out one of these days don't know when but she a give um I'm not gonna lie, I do wish these jackets was a little bit thicker because I would want to just casually wear them in the winter. But one thing about me and all the girls who got a call, we don't even really wear jackets like that. So I'm gonna do what I want to do regardless. But for the girls who don't have a car or do catch themselves outside more or whatever the case may be, I know y'all gonna be more concerned about that. Make sure y'all bundle up, stay warm for the fourth season. So wear this under your other little jackets maybe i could wear a nice wool coat it's so many it's honestly so many different ways you can lay your outfits it just depends on your personal preference but i would definitely wear this under a nice jacket and then when i get to my destination it's kind of giving a whole nother outfit yes i'm that extra but this is what she is i think this is really 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 cute actually i just oh my god i wish it was a little bit thicker but it, it's cute for what it needs to be cute for like it it, it, it does what it needs to do for this. Alright y'all, so next we have this black set. I'm pretty sure you guys have been seeing this trending a lot. It's been all over the websites, all over the boutiques. I know I've definitely seen this a lot around. So, first things first, I got a size small. Um, it doesn't have a low crotch, but I do want to gain a little bit of weight because I want to fit this a little bit better. It's really nothing wrong with the outfit, but they don't want an extra small, and so I wanted to feel like that last outfit. I'm not gonna lie. So, I do want to put on a little bit of pounds, a little bit, fill this in a little bit more, but it's very, very comfortable. It doesn't feel cheap at all. This is what the back is. Very simple, black, calm, little basics that you could just do some runarounds and dress up, dress down. Y'all know how that goes. I'm not going to lie. I was looking for a lot of sets like this, short sleeve, shorts, like, you know, just a variety of sets like this. Because one thing about me, I love a basic, and I love to match, match things with the basic because they literally go with everything. Like, I'm not... A girl who overly dresses or anything, although she is coming. But I'm not one of those girls. I really like basics, lounges, comfortable clothes. I really hate jeans. I don't really wear jeans like that. So this is perfect for me, especially in the wintertime. Because, y'all, if you know me, yeah, if you know me, you know that once it starts to get cold outside, I'm bringing out my Uggs and my basics. My sweatsuits, my two pieces, my sets. That's just my vibe. You know, nice little bust down, nice little sense of part or something. You know how it go. Y'all know the vibe, but yeah. So this is very cute, very basic. I love how the top complements the outfit. So what by that I mean, if you pull this up, because this goes pretty high up. It's all the way above my belly button. So I wouldn't tuck it in. I feel like I'm going to look like Steve Urkel. Like it's doing too much. But when I pull the shirt down, it doesn't cover the butt too much to where you can't see the shape that the pants is trying to give you if it doesn't if that makes any sense like hopefully that makes sense to y'all but that's what the shirt is giving me i love how they complement each other and one is not overpowering the other without it being a bodysuit as I mentioned with the other outfit before so yeah this is really cute i think all the girls need these every single color at that i'm not sure how many colors they carry in this specific outfit but as far as basics come if you find a very nice outfit or very nice basic set, get grab all the colors because it's full. Don't get me wrong, y'all can put on. Y'all can get crazy. Y'all can do what it do. But the basics, I'm not gonna lie, the basics always win for me because all you gotta do is throw it on. You pretty put some gloss, put some lashes. Sometimes you don't wanna do the most. Find a whole outfit to do. Sometimes you don't wanna deal with all that. A nice basic will do the damn job. So yeah, this is what she's giving. And she's cute. Definitely one of my favorites for sure. The material of the outfit. So it's kind of like a shiny material in a way. The stretch, it definitely has some stretch. A girl who wears a medium, let me see. A girl who wears a medium definitely could fit, but it would be really tight. Like this is super comfortable for me and it wrinkles just a little bit in this area. So it's just like, you might could get away with it, but you don't want to bust it open either. Like you don't want to do that. So it's just kind of like a give or take of course, but definitely has some space. Looks really good by the arm. It's not high waters or anything like that. Gotta appreciate that. And yeah, this is just what this material gives. Okay. I'm gonna just let her sit. So I did decide to do a little bit extra for this look. So so I did pick out this shirt and I just knew I could create a sexy 
fit with this shirt because I always want to create a look like this. So I got these boots from Steve Madden. I bought this on my birthday a few years ago. I'm like a few years ago, last year. And I thought this would be perfect to pair with this shirt. So it's a full button down. I got this in a medium. I'm so happy I didn't get this in a small. Like I started to, and I'm like, I know how I want to wear this shirt, so I'm not going to get a small. I'm going to get a medium, and it did exactly what needed to be done. So a few, of course, you could do a few things with this shirt, but let's keep it about. This shirt is made for some thahas. Okay, it don't necessarily have to be these thahas. It could be like the regular black boots. It don't have to be all shiny and stuff like that. But I personally think that this shirt complements the boots and the boots complements the shirt, which is why I'm like, hmm, let me put this together. And then the hair kind of all ties into, it's cute. So this is what the back is giving. Very cute, very nice. Y'all know what you mean if I had a little shake in there or whatever. But this, oh my God, I'm not gonna lie, this shirt is one of my favorites. Hold on, y'all gotta look in the mirror again because, oof. Mm. So as far as accessories come, with this type of shirt, I would definitely pile up the silver accessories, diamonds, whatever you got. This gives silver. Gold, beautiful. I love gold jewelry. I love gold accessories, you know, things of that. But this is made for the bust downs. This is made for the Cubans. This is made for some silver. We need a whole lot of silver jet black. I would not wear a blonde wig with this, I'm sorry. But a nice jet black wig with this look, so, so, so cute. Now, I did try to play with the shirt a little bit just to see if I wanna like tuck it to the side a little bit or maybe like take out a butt or maybe a loosen a button, maybe try to pull it over my shoulders on some like Rihanna type situation. But I don't want my cootie cat out. So we are just gonna wear it like this. Of course you could go and wear a belt around it if you're that type of girl, wanna go up a notch and just accessorize just a little bit more. Um, honestly, I would do a little bit of both just depending on what actually looks good with it. Cause one thing about it, you don't never wanna do too much to where it look, kinda looks like, eh. It looks very, like, very, very, very messy. I don't like that. So, with that being said, what is this giving, y'all? Like, I wish I could do a whole little catwalk. I'm trying to back all the way up so y'all can see the boots. Like, eh. <laughs> and I can walk in these hills, so I'm showing off a little bit. Like, yes, girl. Yes, girl. <laughs> let me know what y'all think about this top right here. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely one of my favorites. I will never let this go. Y'all will be seeing me in this fit. Maybe not this exact fit, but you're gonna see me. No, I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. Maybe this not this exact hairstyle, but you will be seeing me in this fit for sure. So look out for her. All right, y'all, so this is the last piece. It's just this graphic tee. First of all, this is so fire to me, not only because of the red, but I don't know, it just fits good. Now this, I think I got in a size medium as well, just for an oversized kind of fit. I just tucked it a little bit. This is how it looks when it's out, just regular. But who ever wants to be regular? Who wants to be regular? So I just tucked it in a little bit. Nothing too perfect, but just give it a quick vibe. I love me a good graphic tee. Now, if you come up close a little bit, it did seem like this was sparkly, like a sparkly red. This is not sparkly, this is just straight material, but I still could dig it. It looks pretty good on me, and I think it just gives you way more options as far as what you can wear with this shirt and how you could dress it up. Because if it's too much like sparkles and stuff, it could kind of make it look, I don't want to necessarily say cheap, but a lot of the girls don't really want to wear sparkly things nowadays. Everybody's getting a little bit more grown. Even me. I know I love me a good sparkle, but I'm actually happy this is kind of like more regular. This is a little bit more of my style nowadays, okay? So I just paired this with these white hair jeans. I bought this in my last clothing haul, my last collective clothing haul, and I think these go pretty good together. Honestly, I'm for the graphic tees, because I don't have too many graphic tees. Don't ask me why. I just don't have that many. But trust me, I feel like everybody should have a very broad collection of graphic tees, basic tees, just something that you could just throw on real quick and it could still give a statement because this still kind of gives me a statement if you ask me. This I would definitely pair with some pointy heels because it's like there's already a little bit of action in the pants and then you got a little bit of action on the top, boom, red pumps. Come on now. That's a look. That's a whole look right there. I think you could grab that in. 
other than that, let me know what was your favorite piece from this whole haul. And let me know what y'all think about this video, period. I'm not going to lie. I did wait a little bit late to film this video, so I don't feel like I got the best lighting. So I'm not sure if I'm going to refilm this. Hopefully this came out great. I'm praying y'all pray for me. But hopefully this is still a great video and y'all enjoyed it. I already know my favorite piece. I'm not going to lie. My favorite piece is definitely that last piece. That piece took me. It sent me. Um, the two piece with the holes in it, that second runner up. Third runner up would have to be. Third runner up would have to be. I'm gonna go with this shirt. Third runner up has to be the shirt because it's just like, I don't know, the shirt really does something for me. And then it's like the gray with the red. Usually it'd be the browns and the blacks and the this and the that. I don't really see too many graphic tees with this type of color coordination. Don't get me wrong, it might be a whole lot out there. I'm not a graphic tee expert, but for me, this is what I got right now. And I love me a nice tee. I'm tired of spilling a nice t-shirt. I love me a good t-shirt. So anyways, like if you like this video, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you guys want to see more hauls and more collabs between me and Jolie. She or some of your other favorite companies. We are baddies on a budget, okay? Don't think that you have to spend all this money just to be a baddie, just to dress a certain way, have style, fashion. It's not only subjected to the expensive things. It doesn't take all the design and all that just to put together a look and put on babes, okay? Just know. These pants was like... Less than $100, and this top, I, for, I don't even know how much it is, but I guarantee you it's less than $20, so put it on, okay? Period. Anyways, I will see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts. Please, please, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from Mwah, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Oh, she's cute. Got a switch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now. I like you don't know me now.